settle down without noting and acknowledging the contribution of the Catholic Church from the time of bringing education from actually 1498 up until today in the areas of healthcare, in the areas of education, of, and of course in society, the areas of spiritual nourishment. Today we are very honored to have been able to join you, Kujumui Kadanyini, for this great celebration. The Catholic Church indeed has provided for us two presidents, President Mwai Kibaki, President Uhuru Kenyatta. It has, pro it has produced two vice presidents, if I'm not wrong, uh, Mudi Awori, and I think Michael Kijana Omalo was also was a Catholic. He has produced for us a central bank governor, Patrick Njoroge. He has produced for us a speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula. So for those who intend to become presidents in future, one of the places Kukani kwa Catholic Church. Unazapata bahati ukiwa kwa kanisa yetu. I have learned a lot today. Um, thank you so much, uh, you know, the, the preacher of today, um, Habatas Van Megan. You are someone of the sons of Zebedee. We didn't know the sons of Zebedee are from Gatundu. <laughs> and it is good today that we have realized they are from Gatundu. You know our Bible, the word says God's word is living and active. It keeps teaching us many things. Sakaja, you think you know the Bible. What was the blood group of Jesus? Do you know the blood group of Jesus? Akanembia, but you know the blood group of Jesus. You sing it every day. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, positive. Is a blood group. Because also, he is the universal donor. He died for our sins. In this period of visa, we remember. So, mtuwa kikuliza useme leo umejua blood group ya Yesu. Nigani? All positive. But also, I'm very grateful. Um, thank you for introducing the leaders. I think the only mistake, this place is in the Great North constituency. Mwishimiwa Beatrice Salachi, ndiyo mbunge wa hapa. Na pia MCA wa hapa, anaitua Robert Alai. Munajua Robert Alai? Ule wa mtandao. Kila saa kuna maneno mengi. Lakini ndio huyo, pia tukonae, tukonae hapa. Also in the sermon, I have learned something. Kumbe kanisa ni kama tu siyasa. Because eh, the preacher told the two new bishops, wachunge, hapa kandani ya kanisa. Kuna watu, pindi tu wame tawazo kuwa maskofu, wataanza kuwapiga. Na wataanza kuwaletea fitina. Kumbe siyo sisi tu kwa siyasa. Unachagulio ata mwaka moja jaisha, mtu anataka kiti yako. Mgini anasema ujui kazi. So we are in the same ship. That's why we need to work closely with the church. So that we can commiserate with each other in fellowship. I want to congratulate the two sons of Zebedee, our new bishops. Congratulations on attaining that. First Samuel 16.7 says, For God does not see how man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. It is God who knows why you have been chosen at a time like this to support our Archbishop, Philip Anyolo. And our Archbishop has a very difficult time. I always tell people, Nairobi, 90% ni wakora. Watu wengi sana ni wakora. Mtu mzuri tu Nairobi ni Philip Anyolo. Peke yake. Philip Anyolo peke yake. Wengine wote. Mimi na deal na watu wote wa hii mji. Yule mzuri tu ni Philip Arnold Zubira Anyolo. So naomba uzidi kutuombea. Nyo yetu irudi sawa sawa. Please at this time the Catholic Church I'd like to ask you to pray for our country. To pray for His Excellency our President. Our President would have loved to be here. But after uh, his visit in Ghana he had to go to different parts of Africa. And the Speaker of the National Assembly has his uh, message. But let us pray for Kenya to succeed. I know we all want our country to succeed. I know President Uhuru Kenyatta wants the country to succeed. I know the opposition wants the country to succeed. If you don't want your country to succeed, it is like cutting off your nose to spite your face. Wewe peke yako ndio utaumia. Kenya yetu lazima isonge mbele na tunashukuru Mungu